Hello, my name is Owen. I'm a medical doctor and chemistry graduate, and this is a scientific explanation of how the popular fitness supplement and naturally occurring muscle protein that is creatine works. Firstly, what is creatine? It's found almost exclusively in muscle tissue with small amounts also found in the brain and testes. Creatine helps athletes and gym goers complete more repetitions and therefore build more muscle over time because of its role in one of the body's three main energy production systems known as the phosphogen or phosphocreatine system. To understand how this works, we first need to understand that when it comes to producing energy, all cells, muscle cells included, get this energy from the same single reaction, repeated over and over millions and billions of times throughout the muscle tissue. In this reaction, a molecule called adenosine triphosphate, or ATP, is stripped of one of its three phosphate molecules, producing adenosine diphosphate, or ADP, and a newly liberated phosphate ion and energy, useful energy. The function of the creatine molecule in skeletal muscle is to act as the goalkeeper or catcher by binding the newly liberated phosphate ion and then sticking it back onto the ADP to reform ATP, which is then ready to be stripped back again to release more useful energy for the muscle cell to do its work. To understand creatine's importance to athletes and bodybuilders, we need to understand the context of all three energy systems and over what time frames they work and how much energy they're capable of producing. The most long-lived energy system in the body is the aerobic respiration. It is the most sustainable system and can be used indefinitely, but it takes a lot of time to kick in, produces ATP at a much lower rate than the anaerobic and phosphogen systems. Hence, it is useful in an exercise setting for high reps of relatively weak muscular contraction. Anaerobic respiration kicks in quicker, but is less sustainable as it involves the accumulation of waste products like lactic acid and the phosphogen or phosphocreatine system kicks in quickest of all and it is typically effective in regenerating ATP from ADP for about 8 to 10 seconds. Having the phosphogen system working in tandem with the anaerobic system yields a high amount of available ATP in a short period of time. And it is for this reason that supplementation with creatine allows gym goers to hit an extra rep or two each time they train as opposed to when their creatine stores are depleted. That's it for today. I hope you found the video interesting and informative. If you did, please consider watching my other video, Creatine Doctored, in which I provide the evidence-based answers to is creatine effective? If so, for who? How is it best taken? And is it safe to use?